Talkie 75 says, after watching Rebel Moon Part 2, I think I owe an apology to Michael Bay for the uh, all the crap I give him for his Transformers <laughs> oh, movies. Look, okay, so we have been moving. And moving has been kicking our asses. And yesterday, I finally sat down and said, okay, I got to watch Rebel Moon Part 2 before going to bed. Uh, we finished watching the NBA playoffs first. And, and I was done. I had to go to sleep. I, I So I have not watched it yet. I have not heard great things. Got now, check I, that wheat, John. Got what's that? Check that wheat. Oh. Check the wheat. Is that, what the, is that the big line in Rebel Moon Park? No, it's okay. not even a line. It's just I walk away from it. I'm thinking, oh, my God. Okay, so you did see the new one. Dude. All right. All I, I'll just say this. Until Rebel Moon Part 1. There has only ever been one Zack Snyder movie in his entire filmography that I didn't like, and that was Sucker Punch. And nobody likes Sucker Punch. Even Zack, uh, even Zack Snyder doesn't <laughs> no, he's like saying, Sucker Punch. Yeah, he's going to do it. Like, he actually came out and talked. Even Zack Snyder doesn't like Sucker Punch. So I, But every other film Zack Snyder's ever done, I've either liked or loved. Rebel Moon Part 1 was garbage. Like, it was almost unwatchable. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Liquid IV. You know, summer is just around the corner and Anna and I have some of our favorite activities coming up from hiking, swimming, going camping. But in order to do all that, you got to stay hydrated because you need hydration that keeps up with every moment. Just a single stick of Liquid IV makes ordinary hydration extraordinary. And for me, preparing a glass is the easiest thing in the world. Simply open up a packet, pour it into your glass of water and enjoy. And guys, there's a reason that Liquid IV is the number one powdered hydration brand in America. It has three times the electrolytes of the leading sports drink. Just tear, pour, and live more. Just one stick plus 16 ounces of water hydrates better than water alone. With eight vitamins and nutrients, non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. There's no artificial colors or sweeteners, and it's got four delicious sugar-free flavors. White peach, green grape, raspberry melon, and lemon lime. So turn your ordinary water into extraordinary hydration with Liquid IV. Get 20% off your first order of Liquid IV when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code CAMPIA at checkout. That's 20% off your first order when you shop Better Hydration today using promo code CAMPIA at liquidiv.com. So I ask you, Robert Meyer Burnett, how is Rebel Moon Part 2? Well, I've been getting roasted on Twitter by Snyder Bros coming after me for various reasons, and I have said nothing about Rebel Moon Part 2 yet, but I will since you asked me, John. Uh, it is embarrassingly bad. Uh. And, and, and I, I, here, here's the thing. You know, I grew up giving a lot of things a pass. <laughs> you know, in terms of science fiction, I, I, if anything right. had if anything had a spy, a spaceship in it or aliens or lasers, I would watch it. And for the most part, I found something to like. And as far as Zack Snyder is concerned, as a filmmaker, his first feature, which was Dawn of the Dead, was a movie I was poised to hate because the original Dawn of the Dead is one of my favorite movies in the world. And I went in and saw it in the theater, and I walked out pleasantly surprised. I'm like Zack Snyder did something I thought would never be possible, and he remade one of my favorite movies, and he did it well. I was like, all right. And then I liked his 300. I thought his Watchmen was, was a valiant effort. And like you, I've enjoyed most of his movies up until Army of the Dead was, for me, the first one that I was like, eh. Oh. But Rebel Moon Part 1 and 2, and Rebel Moon Part 2, they made me sad. <laughs> more, made me sad. More than anything else because... I wanted to love them. You've got all these talented people. I've talked to the designer on the designing, one of the designers on the designing Hollywood show. I love all the way, everything, the, how it looks. You know, it's just the most dunderheaded, brain dead script ever. And I'm like, what? Why? What? You have all these talented people. It was let down by the screenplay. And I would blame the script. That's where all my problems are. Because Zack Snyder's not. He's, his directing power is there. He's shot this movie. And I just, I'm watching this going, this is, there's a million, you could have read one science fiction novel, any science fiction novel, it doesn't matter which, and you would have been able to come up with a little better script than what we get. You know, it's and, funny too, because like he did his other Netflix movie, uh, Army of the Dead. And I mean, I was nervous about it because it's an, it's working with Netflix. Yeah. 
I had a lot of fun with Army. I mean, I didn't think it was great. Oh, I, 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 didn't but I had thought, a lot of fun with it. I thought I, it was pretty fun. I didn't think it was great, but I had fun. There's some great scenes, like when they have to be really quiet and walk through that the close quarter zombie thing. Oh, you know? yeah, there's, there's some good tension in it. Yeah, the there's great was scenes. Great. I was just hoping for that in Rebel Moon Part One. Like, even if you just give us that, but I, I don't know where his head was at with that movie and and now i'm definitely gonna watch like after your review i'm definitely gonna sit down well, and watch part two tonight i have to say this though <laughs> i at the end when rebel moon 2 scar giver when it was over i th the first thing i thought of was that you know what i really want to see his director's cuts uh, uh, does that make me a masochist <laughs> yeah, but see that's but that's see that okay, listen the director the director's cuts of Rebel Moon Part 1 and 2 is one of the most bullshit things I've ever heard of. You are literally on Netflix where they said to you, you can do whatever you want. And he is purposely, it's all a mark. What they try to do with Rebel Moon and this whole, well, then I'll do my director's cut. <laughs> they are trying to surf on the back of the release the Snyder cut thing yes. and regenerate. But he got to make whatever movie he wanted. There was no time limits. It's on Netflix. He could have done it anyway. This whole director's cut of it is just a bullshit marketing uh, plot. But I still think it's got to be better than what we got. Can it? I, I, I it? think so. I John, if someone asked me about hope, you know, it's like Shawshank Redemption. Hope is a dangerous thing. You know, we'll get hope is the best of things, John. And I think that the director's cut of Rebel Moon 1 and 2, I hope salvage. they're better. I think so. That doesn't make sense at all. But anyways, uh, do you think the audience will get mad that there's a better version of this show that we upload? <laughs> That's right. Oh, yeah, I, do, many the people I know, do a director's cut of but this. But behind a big, a very secret paywall, <laughs> we put up the director's cut of the John Cape show. But, but maybe yeah. to Rob's point, maybe this will be the kingdom of heaven's director's yeah, cut that's a good call Road. i mean that was the, the the director says like an hour longer and you ask yourself why did they not always the short better. version of the wait theater? a second wait there's a case where the director's cut really blew away the original release yeah yes I like, well, yeah. that's snyder's justice league is better yeah, yeah. yeah and, way better yeah and I, I don't know if it's way better but, but I, it is better i would better. contend that that uh the director's cut of aliens is not better than the theatrical release i uh, uh, i agree with you i think the long version of watchmen is better yeah Oh man, yeah, that it definitely happens. Wrong. It happens. <laughs> so it's basically when you realize Scar is not longer. has nothing right. to do with the film, but what it does to you. We got to move on. We just had a lot of questions to get through. What's what? next? Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today, so it'll be there when you need it.